Now let's jump into a quick demo to show how you can use EP scan to quickly identify this differential impedance in this A different PCIe differential pairs. Shown here is the mini PC board and the same board in its layout form. We're going to simulate eight pairs of PCIe traces and examine their differential impedance. I have set up a two minute timer on the top right hand corner. I want to show that it takes less than two minutes to EP scan your design and gain signal integrity insights. I will start the timer now and click on EP scan. Right now, a license check is performed in the background. There is also a demo mode that does not require a license. We will click on a new project to import our ODB++ file. To keep it real, I include the folder navigation time. As we click on create, EPSCAN is importing the 16 layer board. EPSCAN is going through the 16 conductor layers and putting dielectrics in between them. Once it's done, a substrate editor appears. Now let me adjust the window size so it's easier to see. Since I know the net names of the diff pairs, I will search here. There are eight traces from TX0 to TX7. I will select the traces to analyze. Once selected, the nets can be sent to a test plan. Now we'll apply an impedance specification to all traces. There's a list of built-in specifications like the PCIe standards. You can also create your own. After assigning the spec, we're ready to run the simulation. With less than 40 seconds to go, we will kick off the simulation. We should expect 91.5 ohm as the differential impedance. Here comes the impedance results. It's mostly consistent with what we expect. There's one different differential impedance. In less than two minutes, we have EP scanned eight different differential pairs, and we found an unexpected differential impedance. Now let's take a look at a quick demo of return loss and when it's unexpected. Just like before, we have a layout of the mini PC. However, this example has a different signal integrity problem. Since we know how to create a project, I am going straight to the test plan setup. In the previous demo, we selected the nets one by one and assigned them to the test plan. This time, I will import a safe test plan with the net names and spec setup. Importing test plans will save you a lot of time and save you from heartaches if you have many nets to run regularly. Here they are, all set up and ready to go. Let's run the simulation. We would expect all the SDD11 to look similar and has a large negative dB value at the low frequency. Wait a minute, there is one SDD11 that is different. Let's see which net has the problem. It looks like TX0 diff pair has a problem. Knowing the issue on the TX net, TX0 net, we can go to the problem area. Here's our problem, a disconnected net. 